Find the distance between these two coordinates then, polar coordinates. So let's mark off these coordinates and sketch them. So we'll put the drawing here. Here's our horizontal line, here's the origin, just to give us a, some sense of orientation. So minus 1, minus 3, over pi over 4. Minus 3 pi over 4 is down that way, but we've got a distance of minus 1, so we must come back up the other way. A distance of 1. And this is 45 degrees, so I'm going to put in the degrees now. And here we've got 4, out 4 at 2 pi over 3. Well, 2 pi over 3 is 120 degrees, so we'll come around to 120 degrees, which is up in that direction, isn't it? And we'll go out a distance 4. So there's 4, 2 pi over 3. Okay. So we've got that then. So we can mark off this angle here. And that angle there, because we came around 120, this will be 60 degrees. So that makes this angle in between 75 degrees. So if we just uh, draw a fine line now between the points and label it as L, then we can use the cosine formula because we've got this length is 4, this length is 1, and we've got the included angle. So here then, so here uh, L squared is equal to 4 squared plus 1 squared minus 2 times 4 times 1 cosine 75 degrees cosine of the included angle so l squared equals 16 plus 1 is 17 minus 8 cosine 75 and then we'll get that and then we can work out l by square root 2 so let's work out that first then 17 minus 17 minus i'm in degrees mode 8 times cosine of 75 degrees equals 14.929 so that's 14.929 and then we can square root 14.929 14.929 3.86 so we'll just round it to 3.9 and that was the distance in units, and that's to 1 dp. So the answer is 3.9 is the distance.